Shanti, peace to you, peace to me. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Peter and today I want to talk about fall in love with your life again. By dealing with your stress. Stress. Fall in love with your life again by dealing with your stress. How many people here feeling a bit stressed or felt a bit stressed over the last few months as all of this lockdown keeps, keeps continuing? It's like a bad sock under the bed that keeps smelling. <laughs> <laughs> move it out move it on move it on move it on so how do you fall back in love with your life again by dealing with your stress well stress will stop you enjoying so many things because your body starts to close down why does your body start to close down because you're starting to go into your fight or flight nervous system your your nervous system goes into fight or flight so your your everything's starting to contract into your muscle, all the, all the blood comes out of your gut. Gut's such an important area to keep warm and healthy. It goes into your muscles. So you're stressed all the time, you're waiting for something, you're waiting for that tiger to come into your village, or you're waiting for the execution to come around the corner and put you out of your prison cell, or anything of these, these nasty scenarios that you can think of. That's where you are when you're stressed, heavily stressed. A little bit of stress is fine. It, it, it nudges you forward, it helps you to get on with something. But the amount of stress that we're under at the moment just to survive or just to get through the day we're all totally wrapped up in this fight or flight scenario of our nervous system our sympathetic we're into sympathetic nervous state so how do we get into the parasympathetic nervous state which is the rest digest and heal which is where we need to be and really if you look at the two terms human being you're just being you're just being human doing you're doing you're just doing you need to find the balance of those two so you're being and you're also doing but not at the same time maybe you could maybe you could some people can they're so relaxed that everything they just relax and they just do things in that relaxed manner and everything seems to fall into place other people get so stressed out, they're going into this parasympathetic uh, sympathetic nervous state where they're not stressed and they're not falling in love with their life again. They don't enjoy the simple things in life. Like for instance, I take my time now in the mornings, especially in the summer, as I make uh, I have a fruit drink before my training and then do my training and then I have uh, some avocado and tomatoes on spelt bread I make myself, I make the bread myself with sourdough and in the mornings I now take 10 minutes to go and sit outside in the sun, the sun's gently coming up, raining down on me and sit there and go this is beautiful, we look at the garden that we've created in our house, all the food that we've got growing, all the flowers that are coming up, cats are just milling about, just get, getting into their day of <laughs> blazing in the sun. I want that life, look at that. Blazing in the sun and it, it, I've deliberately taken that time now, that 10 minutes just to sit there, enjoy the food. So mindfully eating the food, enjoying the food, my favorite sandwich, avocado and tomato. And take that time to de-stress. And I love those moments. I actually love getting up and doing the exercises now. And I love the routine that I have in the mornings to get myself ready for the day. Fantastic. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful life that I've set up. Wonderful life. It's a, it's a great start to the day and then my day is very varied. You know, I, do, I shoot obviously some YouTube videos. I like to do meditation videos. I write music. I do online classes. I do webinars. I do teaching one-to-ones online all this kind of stuff so it's always varied and always happening differently for me so I'm having to turn around from having lots of people around me through my Qigong classes I used to see about 150 people a week and I miss them I miss them all dearly but I'm having to change that now to doing it more online which I don't like I don't like it at all but I'm adapting to it and I'm having to do it because of this and it's awful because I, I miss the human contact of seeing all these other human beings so that's that's not good at all not good at all so I'm changing that I that did stress me out at first still is stress me out a little bit but I'm dealing with that stress 
by falling back in love with the little things that I like during the day and then moving that into the things that I'm not so happy with doing and it makes it better makes it better because we got some things coming down the pipe which are not very good and we're gonna to have to deal with more and more stress as it gets shoveled onto us because we're acquiescing in what is happening around us just letting it go actually more and more people are, turn, uh, are speaking out there was a rally wasn't there in August or end of July August beginning of August in Germany and the mainstream media played it down but it was about well the mainstream media said there was about 17,000 people 13,000 20,000 and independent reports say there was about 1.3 million people marched through the city was it Berlin I think it was Berlin demonstrating against the government's actions on this lockdown good for them good for them just telling them we're not having this we're not having this and I hope that spurs on other people across Europe to say this is wrong human beings are sociable creatures we need to be together that's what our heart energy is all about that's why it's so big that's why when you walk up to somebody and you can tell their heart energy just through your gut instincts go oh I like this person I like this person's energy oh this, this energy is a bit off I'm not sure about this at all you, you get that instinct before any dialogue is shared you get it straight away so that's important your heart and then opening up your heart helps to deal with stress and how do you do that well we do we do tapping we do jigan meditation uh, chakra exercise waking up your chakras and meditation deep breathing helps you deal with all sorts of stress getting out into nature looking at the green the green is a natural color it helps to calm you down all of this stuff will help you deal with stress and fall in love with your life again life is amazing when you get your meditations deep enough you realize that you're just an energy being you're just an energy being that's all you are all you are <laughs> multi-dimensional energy being that's it <laughs> stuff but once you realize that and this experience is a five sense reality it's just that it's just that it's just an experience but it should be a magnificent experience there's also an enormous learning curve for you to do so learn your lessons when they come something stressful learn your lesson from that and move forward once you've learned that lesson don't let that stress get you again because it will keep coming back keep coming back it's like that sock under the bed that you haven't cleaned up <laughs> keep moving that stress away away from your body meditation is brilliant I love Qigong I'll keep saying it and I'll keep saying it now until the day I don't I love Qigong it's just those soft movements your your body is in control but you're opening up the whole body the whole energy body wonderful I feel now I need to work on my shoulder here a little bit and you can you start to sense everything and you're combining your mind with your breath and your body so your brain taking first place mind second place because it's focusing on something and that helps you to deal with stress just focusing on your breathing helps you to deal with stress body tapping you've got to focus on where you're tapping the body helps you to deal with stress actually stretching Stretching the meridians out of the body helps you to deal with stress. Just bringing your mind into the present moment and realizing there's nothing wrong right in this present moment helps you to deal with stress. All of these tools are there for you, but it's a practice. You've got to keep practicing. Once you practice and practice and practice, it gets easier. And my first sort of venture into meditation really i used to meditate when i was like playing in the in the band it was like everything was focused on me and the band around me and that was like a meditation but to actually do it as a single human being sitting there just focusing on myself very hard at first but once i started to get it you go ah oh. and then you can convince your brain this is all i need to do for these next few minutes 
and if the stress starts to go. Give it a go. Let me know in the comments how you get on. Thanks for watching the video anyway. I hope you get it. And I'll see you in the next video. Sarang Hamidah.